cinema matinee. I ain't got seven fifty to pay. Everybody now. The Hobbit. Boy, I love Hobbits, Leon. I, the, <laughs> you love them so much you can't say the word Hobbit. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you said, I thought you said what yeah. the hell is a Hobbit? I, I, thought, I thought you said I love hummus. I was like, <laughs> great, but what does that have to do with the Hobbits? <laughs> right. Man, you put some Hobbits on some pita bread, man. It's good, man. It's <laughs> good and spicy. I, I like hummus. I want to be the world's first black Hobbit, man. I did. Is that really? Yeah, I did. And, and then you grew oh, to be 6'3", and it's like, oh, well. <laughs> world's first 6'3", black hobbit, man. Sit up there with an afro pick, come on my foot hair, little, little afros on my feet. Oh my God. Got, got a <laughs> fist on the end of that pick. Put some cornrows on my feet. <laughs> be nice, man. Be nice. And you, you'd, you'd be traveling with, with Gollum, a crackhead. So just because I'm a black hobbit, I got to hang out with crackheads now. <laughs> yeah, and, play, and play basketball. Yeah, yeah. This is coming from a black man who can't say the words. <laughs> that Nick's right there. No, I, I do. I really I really do love this book, man. I love this book so much. I told you the other day that this is my dream book yeah. right here. I know you, 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 all that nerd shit you like. I don't, you don't even have to say. I mean, I don't have to explain to anyone how much I love it. I have it down my pants right now. That's how much I love it. <laughs> you have a hobbit in your pants right now? No, the book. I've had oh, okay. the whole time we've known each other. It's just been sitting there. Well, what's that wiggling down there? Then? <laughs> don't don't pay any That's attention. That's the hobbit to who's reading the book. It's the grand adventure. I, and, I mean, and it's the greatest adventure <laughs> lies ahead. Kind of funny, though, that a little guy just would let a bunch of hairy little man up into his house, just trusting that they were going to go on an adventure. Because mm -hmm. I always thought, what if these weren't actually dwarves and, and a wizard? What if these were just homeless people? Homeless <laughs> just, people. Just, just home, homeless midgets and a big, tall, homeless guy just wanted in. Hey, you want to go on an adventure? Get this in first. They go in there and they knock the shit out of him. <laughs> Take, take all his <laughs> and run out with <laughs> And they're drinking and having a good time. They just knock him upside his head. Let's go. Get out of here. <laughs> this is why they aren't going to make movies of your book. I always thought it would be kind of funny if the dwarves just ran into other dwarves from other movies. Yeah. And it, just was, it was not good. No, no. You had, you had the elves that, that cobbled the shoes and the Kiva mm -hmm. elves. The time bandits. What if they actually went to the wrong neighborhood and it was the seven dwarves from Disney movies? <laughs> and they're and they not as nice as you think they are. They're, just, they're like, hey, mother where you going? Hey, <laughs> hobbits. <laughs> chick, 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 chick. Yeah. Hobbits, come out to play, yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this ain't the Shire, and you're gonna be on fire. <laughs> There's a lot of different opinions on this movie coming from a lot of different people. Uh, Leon, you look like a man of Middle Earth. <laughs> you're like, oh, because I'm short. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about what you felt about this movie? I felt about this movie, you know, once in a great while, the movie comes along that's three hours long, and I not, not only don't get angry at it, but I want more. And this was that movie. It called The Greatest Adventure of All Time. Yeah, I think it's in the running for being that. It actually fixed some of the problems I had with the Lord of the Rings movies. I liked this so much better than I could have imagined. It's one of my favorite movies of the year. It's definitely a high full price. Okay, Cyrus. You guys all remember like a couple years ago when I had my formal ceremony and was married to the Lord of the Rings films. We're very happy together. <laughs> In love. It was but, you know, beautiful. We figured it was time to renew our vows now with The Hobbit. And of course, it's never going to be the same the second time around. But you know what? This is filled with fucking hobbits and dwarves and fucking like wizards zapping shit and goblins and trolls and all kinds of. I got, oh my God! I'm so happy to see another one of these. Yeah, it's not maybe not as good as the first time around yet, but it's still pretty goddamn awesome. This is the full price of a film, and boy, can I not wait for the next two. Oh, by the way, uh, Cyrus, here's a towel to dry yourself. Yeah, I was gonna say, Thank you. This, yeah, yeah. Somebody have a mop. Clean up on aisle six. I might be a bit moist. <laughs> well, Coach, why don't you go ahead and give oh, me a Oh, well, thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, all I'll say is, if you do go see it, man, stick to what you know. Stick to the 24. That's right. Is that is that the right number? 24. 24 frames per second. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna reimmerse you into the world of Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and all these short people in, in Middle Earth. I'm pumped to get into the next one. Let's do it now. Let's do it today. Uh, uh, this movie is a full price for me. You get your hands off my wife, co-host. And listen, I'm going to be fair. At times, the 48 frames per second rate, it looked great, bringing out the detail and some of the special effects, making them look more realistic. But at other times, the sets and props, they just look like plastic. And the dwarves, well, they look like actors with a bunch of rubber shit on their faces. Not to mention that the first half of the film, it's a little stretched out. It made some of the scenes boring for me. I'm sorry. But... But when we finally get to the Goblin Caves, boy, that's when things start to take off. The pace picks up, Bilbo plays a bigger role in the story, and the set pieces are spectacular. That Gollum Riddle scene is amazing. Whose ass am I gonna have to kick to get Andy Serkis an Oscar? Oh, we know, we know self-paths, Robinson. Self-paths in the dark. Shut up! 
I didn't say anything. I wasn't talking to you. Overall, this is a high matinee. I'm just a little upset because I think that they're taking too much away from Bilbo's story, which is not how the book, The Hobbit that I know, intended to portray him. Am I right, fellas? Fanboy! Fan fanboy! Fan hey, hey, hey. Let me fan the fanboy. Fan <laughs> Giving his review. Cinema, I ain't got 750 to pay. Everybody now.